What is the EU Charter? That's easy. It's the international treaty that a bunch of European countries signed after World War II. Wrong. That's the European Convention on Human Rights. But aren't they the same thing? No, and I'm about to explain why. I actually knew they weren't the same thing. I was just pretending for maximum educational impact. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Roll title. The European Union Charter of Fundamental Rights is a simple way of knowing which social, economic and political rights the EU must respect. It means that key bits of the EU, like its court and parliament, must respect these rights when doing things like making laws. But how does that have anything to do with the UK? I was just getting to that, but thanks for interrupting. After Brexit, the government wants to get rid of the Charter. But until Brexit, the UK is still an EU member state, so we need to respect the Charter when doing things involving EU law. However, the government doesn't need to worry about the Charter when doing things outside of EU law. And that's where the EU Charter is different from the Human Rights Convention. The Human Rights Convention is always on, baby, and it applies in all areas of our lives whenever the state is involved, such as healthcare, prisons and schools. So you were saying the Human Rights Convention is like a treaty or something? Correct. After World War II, European states got together and agreed a list of basic rights and freedoms that should be respected by everyone. That list became the Human Rights Convention. The EU Charter was introduced much later, in 2000. It copies a lot of the rights in the Convention, but it also goes a bit further, like in data privacy and workers' rights. So what's the point in having both? Excellent question. The EU itself isn't bound by the Human Rights Convention, so the Charter was created to make sure the EU respects human rights laws. So both the Charter and the Convention can be powerful tools in defending our human rights. Exactly. The Charter applies in fewer situations, but goes further than the Convention in some areas. So the Charter and the Convention are like a big package which protect our human rights. But after Brexit, the Charter could disappear from that package and honestly, we don't know what that could do to our rights. So in these uncertain times, let's stand united in the fight for our rights.